Model kit for a Frankie Day uh, appreciation build. Frankie, uh, I'm glad that you uh, the move went well and uh, you're adjusted to uh, your new home. I feel for you, man. Um, but it seems like you're the type of person that makes things happen and makes things work and uh, everything's going to be well. Yeah, just got a simple uh, Corsair here for you uh, that I'm going to build. It's 172 scale. That's pretty much what I do now. <laughs> So um, I'll be having this build and um, not sure when I'll have it done, but uh, Frankie, this is in appreciation for you. Uh, I believe you were in the Navy. I can't remember. Um, so why not have a Navy plane, you know? <laughs> so you take care, bud. And on to the rest of the show. Hey, my dudes. Yeah, I'm all clean shaven, man. Yeah. I do it probably about once every two or three months. I get tired of the goatee and stuff, and I get tired of trying to trim it all up. But that's not what we're here for. We're not here for hair for men or whatever and stuff. We're <laughs> hair for men. Ah. Say what? Um, this is just a quick uh, little update or video. Ah, oh, my big sausage finger. I'm holding my cell phone up and trying to talk to you guys and stuff. But, um, I want to go down to the bench here because, uh, you know, getting into war gaming and stuff, and I've been printing up some solo games and stuff, and then I was sitting there thinking, I said, man, okay, I'm painting up the minis, which is awesome and great and all. Um, the, the thing is, what's my dog doing? Oh, all right. She hears something. Anyways, back, 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 back. Squirrel! Um, no, nah, uh, I need train. And one thing about uh, being in, you know, building model kits and stuff, I used to... Uh, I build a couple of uh, uh, apocalyptic uh, cars and all that. Yeah. Where you just, you know, trash or whatever. And I remember uh, Gamza back then, whatever, um, and a couple other guys, you know, Gamecraft Dragon, same thing, and uh, Black Magic Craft, he's, he's, he's pretty much king at it. Sorry, Big D, I'm just saying, you know, you're great too, but, you know. Um, and then there's Trainaholic and, you know, Train Tutor and all. There's tons of train guys out there. And I'm going to do Trash Terrain, man. Um, I was just, just briefly, maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes around the house and I gathered up some stuff. Toilet paper rolls, you know, and all those things. You know, your standard, typical Trash Terrain, you know, and, uh, let's go down the bench. Here, I'll show you. I'm Cheryl T. I feel at home in front of the camera. But behind the camera, I don't know the difference between a lens opening and a Broadway opening. So I rely on my Olympus OM-10. My trusty OM-10 gets great shots automatically. My OM-10 has the smart little red light that tells me when it's okay to shoot. Oh, it's okay to shoot. Hold it, fellas! With Olympus OM-10, great shots automatically. Alrighty, boom. Yeah, I see a lot of pill, pill, uh, pill, what are you calling, bottles. Yeah, you can tell I'm on, uh, I'm on cholesterol, medication, lisinopril, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I don't mind, you know, hey, it is what it is, man. And metformin, I'm, you know, diabetic. Not, just over, whatever, I'm diabetic. Yeah, I'm over the number. My A1C is 7.7 .7 right now. Um, not type 2. Um, which is real close to getting back to, you know, normal, I guess, six. Well, anyways, we're not here to talk about Dr. Brian. Um, Say what? But you see here, I mean, some of the stuff you recognize, I mean, look at, even like a fast food uh, cup there. During this time, uh, I'm going to start building some uh, train. Uh, right now, I already got an idea for, uh, obviously, sci-fi or whatever. Um, making terrain of, you know, not like just like silos, but, you know, science fiction silo stuff. You know, just whatever comes up imagination-wise. This is what's cool about the miniature wargaming. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Um, model kit building is awesome, too. It really is. Um, but, you know, model kits, you can do dioramas. I've done tons of dioramas uh, for model kits and stuff. So this is kind of right up my alley here. Um, I mean, I'm not too much of a newbie at this stuff. Well, eh, take that back. Uh, haven't really gone to extremes with all this kind of stuff here, but yeah, I'm pretty jazzed about it. 
so down the road you're going to see some, you know, like your typical trash terrain, man. So, um, see what I can come up with here. It'll be kind of fun because what the hardest thing about this is not, is when to stop. <laughs> so, because you can really get involved in this. You, oh, I got this. Oh, I got this. Oh, I can put this together. I can combine these things. Oh, blah, 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 blah. And then you're just sitting there like, you, you know, it's almost a never-ending project. Um... So that's probably the hardest part is knowing when to stop when you do trash train. <laughs> so, but I have, I was thinking, man, I'm going to be getting a table here, like four by six or four by four. And um, it's going to go right where that fan is. I got a big enough room for it. That's my dog. And there's the Chiefs. Go Chiefs! But anyways, um, it's going to go right here. going to rest against the side of the window there. And there's some, yeah, yeah, I know I'm missing Scotty and Captain Kurt. I know some of you are just saying it. So, anyways, um, it's going to go right here, so, and, uh, yeah, oh, look, oh, wow, oh, look at there, wow, yeah, um, that's the other thing I was going to tell you guys about, my brother, he was, uh, I guess, coming back from grocery shopping or whatever, and he went back, he did a back around, back away, he went to the back of the grocery store on his way out, for some reason, and I guess there was a thrift store there, and he saw this lady about ready to toss this in the garbage, and he knew I was getting into this, so he uh, he asked the lady, you know, hey, I'll take it, and uh, sure enough, it's made out of balsa wood or whatever wood. It's my, it's a little too big for 28 mil, um, but I'm wondering if there would be a way to work this out. So, but yeah, this is a castle here, you know, for medieval whatever. It's really big. I mean, this would this would take half of the well quarter of the four by four or four by six table i was just wondering for like skirmishes like you know gladiator battles or something similar to that have them inside there and have lights or something like that and put in castle castle furniture how's that i don't know <laughs> but, uh, anyways um yeah so there's another idea there yeah see guys i still have my air my airbrush and so there's the old that's the old uh master's brush which you know what that master series there it's no eye water or badger or anything like close to, you know, that kind of stuff. But that sucker works pretty dang good. Now if I just get myself to use it some more. <laughs> so that, that uh, airbrush thing is from, uh, uh, what do you call it? That's a central pneumatic uh, airbrush uh, pump, whatever. Thing works just like a charm, man. I only spent like 40 bucks, I think, on that. So it's got the, what do you call it? The, I'm not too much in it because this shows you how rear eye airbrush uh it's got the humidity check whatever what blah 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 psi check thing whatever i don't know controller blah 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 all you airbrushes are like yeah you're an idiot but anyways i, I that's fine i know i am that's cool i, I accept it <laughs> so uh but that's uh, that's it we weren't here talking about how big of an idiot i am um yeah but that that's here i was pretty jazzed about that and uh table's gonna go right there and stuff i got wife's permission too so yeah there's a there's that oh there's my concord there my mat rocky's war room you see i got the base color down so almost got that squad ready to go and uh yeah and these are some extra spruce and that's the other thing i got tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of sprues and all the stuff in there so i got the whatever and i got that geeks gaming scenics stuff so there you go. Just giving you guys a heads up. You may see some videos of this stuff, you know. So, so I'm going over five minutes. So that was my heads up there. This is my very quick, very quick, brief toss the bones video. Just tossing the pill, pill cases at you, pill bottles, whatever you call these things. I can't remember what you call these things. And uh, toilet paper rolls, throwing the toilet paper rolls and smack you side of the head with a, with a chip canister. <laughs> Yeah, you guys take care, man, and I uh, hope you guys are having a good week. Sweltering here in Arizona, man. Good old Arizona heat. Woohoo! Have a good week, guys, and uh, keep building and keep painting out there, and have fun. See ya. Oh, look at me. I'm rambling again. Well, I hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. Catch you later on down the trail.